So all the skills that you've gained learning how to work with Microsoft Excel, you're going to be able to transfer those skills to using spreadsheet applications, regardless of whether or not they're Microsoft Excel or OpenOffice.org or uh, even Google Drive spreadsheets. And I really want to take a moment to show you Google Drive spreadsheets because Google's got a lot of depth. And I love the simple interface, but when you really start to dig down into Google, there's all kinds of amazing stuff. And one of those amazing things where there's a ton of amazing stuff is under Google Drive. So if I go to Google Drive, just click that link, and it brings me to this window, which I have up. Same window. Brings me to uh, Google Drive, and inside here I could choose Create. And I could create a folder. I could create documents, presentations, spreadsheets, forms, which is one of the really amazing things, and drawings. So just to look at the folders right here, you can see I've created different folders. And in different folders, I have different information. So I have information for my CIT 15 class, for the assignments, for the last class, for the class presentations. I also have something to track student learning outcomes for our uh, computer information technology department at the college where I teach. And so I could create these folders just as if I'm in some sort of folder explorer window, like Windows Explorer, and I'm managing my files. But one of the really great things that I could create is spreadsheet. So I would just go to create spreadsheet. And uh, here's one uh, spreadsheet that I created that my students have to create in each of my classes uh, as one of their assignments. So this is the example where they have to calculate their grade. And uh, so they list all of their different assignments and they color code their assignments with what's over here, right? So here's basically the syllabus, 40% of their grades assignments, 20% quizzes, 15% exams, 15% participation, 10% final. And then their grade is going to be based on, right, whatever they earn in assignments, whatever their assignment average is. So let's say they didn't get 100%, you know, uh, they will get they will get 75% of 40%, or 75% times 40% is equal to 30%. And you can see the same things happening. We have a formula bar right here where it shows me that the formula right there is equal to this cell, B1, times cell E21. And I press Enter to get back out of that view. Likewise, here is a formula where average E1 colon E20. So very much like Excel. And that's one of the cool things you could do is just create spreadsheets in Google Documents, Google Drive, and it's saved for you in your Google account under Drive. Likewise, I've used spreadsheets just to keep track of information. So here's a list of information. These are, in fact, all of the different categories and assignments and everything that students would use to uh, create this grade calculation spreadsheet. And uh, there's also something else you could do in Google Drive, which is really cool with spreadsheets, is you could create, you could choose Create Form. And when you go to Create Form, it asks you, what do you want it to look like? Sure. How about a birthday look? And then I could start adding questions here. Uh, will you attend my B-Day party? So that'll be the name of my form. Um, and uh, are you going to attend? Maybe I'd actually call this Todd's B-Day party. You're going to be able to attend. I'm going to make that uh, checkbox. And option one will be yes. And option two will be no. <laughs> Ow. I'm going to make it a required question. And there we go. I'm going to click done. And now I could add another item if I'd like. And what kind of item do I want to add? I want to add a text item. Sure or choose from a list, or a scale, or a grid, or multiple choice, I'm going to choose text. For how many people are you RSVPing? And then a little instruction here, and remember to include yourself as one. Done, I'm not going to make that required. And now, uh, another text, uh, what would you like to bring to the party? And I could actually make this one a multiple choice. And so uh, option one, it would be, you know, appetizer. Option two would be drink and dessert. There we go. So uh, I'm not going to make that required. Now I'm just going to leave a little confirmation message. Thank you for letting me know. And uh, there we go. Uh, I'm all done. 
So I'm ready to view my live form. So I come up here and choose view live form. And that's what my form looks like. Todd's B-Day party. Are you going to be able to attend? Yes. How many people are you RSVPing for? Seven. Uh, what would you like to bring to the party? Drink and submit. There we go. And great. So it's been submitted. What does that tell me as the person who created the form? I could go back to Google Drive, go back into Drive here, and I can look down here and there's untitled form responses. So I click that. And now here, are you going to be able to attend? Yes. For how many are you RSVPing? Seven. What would you like to bring to the party? Drink. So I'm going to uh, rename this form right here, rename Todd's B-Day Party Responses. There we go. And if I wanted to, I could go back into form here and edit the form. And I'm going to make this one actually right here so it automatically came up. I'm going to make it set multiple choice check boxes so people could check if they want to bring multiple items. I could choose view form again. And now, uh, yes, eight and people could choose multiple items, submit. And if I go back and I look at my results, there it is, right? Just dynamically brought in that data. And then at the end of all the responses, I could kind of like put in a little formula here to sum everything up. How many people are gonna come? There we go, 15 in total. So forms are a really cool way to collect data from people. How would I get that form out to people? Go to form here and go to live form and then copy this URL, copy that, and then just post it to Facebook or email it to people. So some of the different forms I've created, right? We created a student retention and success survey.